Welcome back to Turning Hard Times to Good Times. I am your host, Jay Taylor, and I'm really pleased to have with me once again my friend and partner, Chen Lin. Um, Chen has been a very successful investor. He's been on this show many times in the past, and I'm really glad that he could join me again. Thanks for being with us today, Chen. Thank you, Jay. Glad to be here. I'm so good to always, you you always have so, so many intriguing ideas and things that you are really interested in, and you, you wanted to talk to me today about a couple of the uh, of the stocks that you think have are at that point where they may have some news that could really drive them uh, drive them higher now. And the first one, uh, I, I'd like to ask you about a couple of the biotechs. First of all, starting out with uh, Aldera, uh, Aldera Therapeutics. It's a, a new name to me, actually. I know you've been covering it and writing about it for some time, but ALDX trades uh, in the in the US and uh, it's at nine dollars and forty cents that earlier today at least it was up 50 cents today uh, and they're involved with uh, allergic conjunctivitis uh, a, um, a solution for that problem which afflicts something like 20 percent of the world's population I didn't realize dry eye or, or problems similar to that tell us about that and why you think uh, it's time maybe has come Oh, hi, Jay. Uh, this company has been for many, many years. I've been going through the, uh, all the different phases, and this is, uh, this is it. This is uh, phase three uh, of their trial. They're going to release results uh, hopefully this month. I hope this month, and uh, if it's positive, will be a most significant in the company's uh, little history. Uh, I've been trading that for quite a few years, and I got, you know, every year I got almost got a double I did two years ago and then last year. And then I got back again uh, after their big spike uh, to 16, and then I about got back when they do a financing, 13 and a half, I got back and lowered the financing price. But it turned out and last year was so brutal, it actually went down all the way to 8 or 7 at the mm-hmm. bottom of December. Now it's uh, getting close. So the bottom line is, okay, so if they got this uh, phase three, which is the first of the three phase three results they're going to release this year, uh, they will be likely a takeover target for uh, for large big farmer. You know, we mm-hmm. know that quite a few mergers and, and big farmer can pay billions of dollars for a successful drug candidate, especially blockbuster status. So, uh, so that that's the excitement, and uh, I expect that last year was only phase two results. Okay, it's back to sixteen, and then if this is a uh, uh, this is it, I expect them to go to much higher. Mm-hmm. So uh, nine dollars and forty cents up fifty cents today. Is there any particular news today that's driven the stock? Or no, not really. I think it's mm-hmm. just people are just getting ready for the result. Has been a little pullback. Right, mm-hmm. had some pullback uh, recently, and then today it's a rebound. So, uh, so it, it's it's just like you know the typical market. I don't think market know anything much about that because mm-hmm. you see the volume is very low. Okay, and then mm-hmm. if you see that previous last year's volume to uh, to sixteen, the volume was twenty one million. Okay, today even today up five percent, only like. Uh, Less than a hundred thousand. Right? So it's a very low volume. The market don't know what's going on. It's mm-hmm. below the radar of most of the traders. But mm-hmm. if they really deliver, that's my thing. Mm-hmm. Keep my finger crossed. If they really deliver, it's a lot of upside. So that's one of those. I'm, I'm, I was looking for for the new year. I've been I've been adding to as I told my subscribers in the past month mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. finger crossed. Well, I mean, what kind of upside? Let's say they're really successful in phase three, and what do you see? A double, a triple, or something bigger? Well, if this result come out, probably double or triple, uh, depending mm-hmm. on market condition. But if the really a major farmer want to buy it because you know they saw the data, think it can be approved by the FDA for the dry eye indication, you know, Allegan, right? In order mm-hmm. to protect their dry eye patent, they went to Indian tribe, right? That's what's big news last. Last year, unfortunately, they're uh-huh. going to be invalidated, so their patent will expire this year. It's one of their, the second largest uh, uh, drug uh, revenue source. So they probably want something, and then this yeah, uh, the, the sales for the allegans over one billion in dry eye, over one mm-hmm. billion a year. So in that situation, usually the big farmer willing to pay a few times of the annual sales. So that's mm-hmm. this, this 
All right. It can be a, a few billion, I mean, many, many times of the current market. We'll have to keep our eyes on that one, Chen. And uh, another one that I personally own, so I'm really going to listen about this one, a Casti Pharma, dollar uh, eight trades in the United States under ACST. Uh, it's dollar uh, eight, as I said, down seven cents earlier today anyway. Tell us about that one. You're, you're really, it's one of your favorites, I know. Yeah, it's my favorite. It's a Creole oil. I've been in Creole for five years, uh, more than five years. Uh, my, I try it personally, very effectively, re- control the cholesterol. My family, I heard your family did too. I mean, a lot of friends told, come back say it's very effective. And I was able to compare with their current trial results. It's very consistent. So it's one of those things, actually, we you know it's working. And uh, they did recently. You can, if you look at Amarin, uh, Amarin is a uh, five billion, mm-hmm. six five to six billion dollars. The rumor is Pfizer is going to buy it. Okay, so Pfizer has ten billion war chest, so probably they buy it. So, but this one, a very tiny company, a hundred million company, is going to be the the key competitor to Amarin. So you think about the upside. Uh, if Amarin was, if they have to, if they buy it, they have to pay a premium, right? Eight nine billion. And then this little company fully funded to phase three. They have two phase three coming at the end of this year, before the end of one, likely in Q3, while likely in Q4. So, so th- you see the upside can be tremendous, right? So th- that's, that's, the key is just wait for the data. And then they will have a research report coming. My understanding is this, this month. So this mm. will be first ever, first ever research report by, by U.S. based. Um, from. It's a, it was a Canadian company, right now just in the process moving towards the U.S., uh, more U.S.-based company, and there was more U.S. investor. The largest uh, investor is my friend uh, George Haywood. He's mm-hmm. he successfully turned around another company called Sarapta. Actually, it's one of my best, biggest wins. Yes, indeed. We know Sarapta well from your uh, past uh, appearances on the show, Chen. Congratulations on that, and it was a very uh, heartwarming story too, because it's uh, it saves the lives of a lot of young young men that would otherwise die. So it's a, congratulations on that. Um, so uh, okay, well, there's I know you you cover a lot of pharmaceuticals, a lot of uh, a lot of the uh, biotech stories, and and certainly, but you also cover a lot of energy stories too. Uh, Transatlantic Petroleum is one of your favorites at a dollar six trades in the U.S. under the symbol T A T A Tata. Uh, what's the story there? Why do you like that one so much? Well, it, the Transatlantic and another company called Valara has uh, yes. a big acres in in Turkey, which uh-huh. can be the biggest, likely be the biggest discovery of fracking, you know, discovery in Europe, the first success in fracking. And then it's natural gas, and Turkey is 90% are import, more than 90% are imported. And then the gas price of Russian controlled is very, very expensive. So this, imagine how much success we have fracking in the United States. They're trying to replicate there. The re- initial results last year was pretty good. And then they're going to test with another well. The, the well is drilling. Uh, that's likely will have the result by the end of this month. Uh, in addition, Transatlantic TAT has another well drilling in Bulgaria. That's one mm. actually could be the company maker because they've been to Bulgaria since 2011, 2012. Think how many years passed. They did all the preparation. They're going to drill the big, first big well. So if that well hit, they can potentially triple, I, say, I mean triple its current oil production, which is uh-huh. over 3,000 barrels a day. Uh, That's a so Bulgarian uh, well that they're drilling, huh? Bulgarian yeah. well. If, if yeah. so, so then they will have all their cash flow. They can do whatever they want. But they also plan to, to drill well in Turkey uh, to frack that and uh, see how, how it works on their concession. So it's like a kind of one, one stone for two birds. Heavy mm-hmm. leather purchase. You can see their chairman has been buying uh, left over right. I mean, he, he bought all the share he could buy, just uh, slightly below the current stock price, right? 103, mm-hmm. now it's 102, one, I mean, 105, 106. So you get a very little downsize and then there's a lot of upside. So I'm quite excited. I almost, all of my energy stock has a huge catalyst. This is just immediate. Those two are immediate. They also have other pine orange. I have a you know, many others, you know, chemical and carbon energy, they all have a catalyst, but later in the year. I'm quite uh-huh. excited. You know, after brutal sell-off of oil price, 
last year and this year we have a little bit of stability in oil. And uh, the, if my you know, stock, my catalyst hit, will be very exciting, most exciting year in, in energy stock. In energy. Very good. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye on those. And what you're saying is the catalyst is very near for Valera Energy, by the way, at symbol VLE. And I saw it at $3.41 Canadian earlier in the day. Well, uh, Chen, with a couple of minutes left here, there's a couple of gold stocks that I know you and I both like. Irving Resources, it's an exploration company, is soon to start drilling in Japan. And another one, Merrimont Resources, M-O-N-T, in Toronto, trades in Toronto. Um, talk to us quickly about those two stories. Yes, of course. Uh, the, those I really like those. They're the same uh, G- Geo, right? The, the founding Geo, which is Quentin Hanning, uh, mm-hmm. is with Novo. So uh, I know for the, I know for the matter of fact, you're probably going to have some other guests discuss about that. The founders of Novo are also in those two stocks, and they're very mm-hmm. bullish of that. Remember how how well Novo did in last year, right? Tenfold, oh, yes. more than tenfold. Uh, so uh, they both company about to drill. Uh, and to start a very uh, exciting drilling program. Uh, Irving is in Japan, and, mm-hmm. and uh, Mount is in Peru, right? So uh, both companies, uh, if they hit, uh, there's a belief, at least belief from the large shareholder I have contact with, so there will be at least five tenfold increase from now if they mm-hmm. hit. They're trading right now, or about yeah. to drill. So, so that's that's the thing. I have a relatively small position in both, uh, but I will be following them closely, right? So, if there's anything going on, if they really hit what they want to hit, the both stock can explode. Yeah, it's uh, some really high grade targets. I know Irving has its eyes on, and the Merrimont story, I believe, is a very large gold copper porphyry target in Peru. So, yes, those are some that Quentin Henning is very much involved with, and. Of course, you and I know Quentin and uh, think very highly of him, as most people do who have learned to know him. Uh, Chen, I want to thank you very much for uh, taking the time uh, to talk with us today. Great ideas, and we'll look to keep up with you and, and uh, maybe track some of these and some of your other exciting ideas as, uh, as the year progresses. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Jay. My pleasure. 